This is the latest movie from one of the most prolific filmmakers of all time, Woody Allen, who has written and directed a new movie almost every single year for the last 40 odd years. And I gotta say, not everything he has put out has been great, but rarely has it been terrible and I'm personally a huge fan of his work. And even just in the last decade he's put out several really good movies. Unfortunately, when it comes to this one, it's had a very tumultuous release. Because the whole Me Too thing happened, which I'm not gonna get into, and Amazon decided not to put it out in theaters. They also apparently pulled out of a multi-picture deal with Woody, so he sued them. A case which was recently settled and now the movie is finally released. So to say that this one comes with a fair amount of baggage is putting it lightly. But I wanted to see it, and I haven't had the chance to review a Woody Allen movie before, so here we go. And in this one we follow two students, a couple played by Timothy Chalamet and Elle Fanning. And they take a weekend trip to New York, because Elle's characters got an assignment to interview a famous director. Which in very typical Woody Allen fashion is just the starting point. Because one thing leads to another and soon enough things kinda get out of control. And like most of his movies, it starts with a very simple basic premise, but then turns into something a lot more elaborate, a lot more layered. I guess you could call this deceptively complex, because there's actually quite a few threads going on by the end of it. And like most of his movies, he does find a way to tie it all together and wrap it all up too. And you know, I would say that the story here works. I mean, it's nothing all that mind-blowing, but it works. The same goes for the acting too. Timothy Chalamet I found to be decent. Elle Fanning I actually liked a fair bit, but the one standout here to me was absolutely Selena Gomez. I just liked her character a lot and she fit the role perfectly. She plays this kind of snarky and pretty funny character and I just enjoyed her performance here a lot. Speaking of funny, the movie as a whole does have a number of genuinely funny scenes too. And every once in a while a character will drop one of those classic Woody Allen one-liners too. Just these tiny dialogue gems that manage to make me laugh. With that being said, I've seen a lot funnier movies from him too. I've also seen a lot better stories from him as well, but at the same time, this did have a certain charm to it and I didn't really mind it at all. But it did end up being sort of a middle of the road Woody Allen movie. I've seen better, I've seen worse, but by no means would I call this bad. In fact, I think I might prefer this one to his previous two, especially Wonder Wheel. Which was a very strange movie and a bit of a stylistic departure for him as well. But anyway, this one is pretty much in every way imaginable a very bog standard Woody Allen movie. It features a lot of familiar tropes, young and talented actors and some veterans too. And it's a sort of light-hearted and whimsical story with some sharp and witty dialogue. And at the end of the day I enjoyed it and didn't have any major issues with it. But it definitely didn't make it onto the list of my favorite movies of his. But this does show that he still knows how to put together a coherent and somewhat entertaining movie. Although I would still say that he's in a bit of a slump and hopefully the next one will be better. But I think he's still got it and I have no doubt that he's gonna keep working. In fact the next one is already in production so I'll be looking forward to that one. But anyway, would I recommend this? Eh, if you're a fan of Woody Allen, maybe give it a shot. Otherwise, probably not. It's nothing too impressive. Or, you know, you could do whatever you want. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.